CWA's eBarbs Rush Challenge is live. One of the nicest dudes on the planet. Let's go ahead and jump in with the best deck to help you win that emote. Let's go. I'm telling you, look, you see? This is the deck. Here is the deck. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the challenge with. We're gonna have our two spells here. Of course, Zap is gonna be really good. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be running stuff like Skeleton Army, but we have these troops here. They're gonna help defend against the elite barbarians. And we have this annoying bait aspect to it as well. Let's go ahead and jump in and dominate. Battle number one. Let's see what our starting rotation is. All right, so what we're going to do, I think, is go ahead and split the guards this way. And I want to go a little heavier opposite side there because we have the Elite Barbarian that's going to be coming in, right? So we're going to be hopefully able to take care of this Elite Barbarian. They're going to have to answer this side. And then I'm going to go in with the Dark. Actually, I'm not going to go in with the Dark Prince. Uh, that side. I'm going to go in opposite side here. And then we're going to go ahead and not do too much else here. I might go Valkyrie in front of that Elite Barbarian. We have a little bit of a counter push. Now I go in with the Goblin Barrel. And we still have Skeleton Army. All right, he uses Log, but we get a couple of stabs. That's perfect, right? Now we're going to go ahead and get the Annoying Firecracker down right here. And we just got to protect, like I said, right? Just protect. Now we get the guards a little bit heavier on this. Like, what? Expo. Okay, so what is going to stink is if he's able to log this if he's able to log it that's going to be really bad for us okay so that was pretty aggressive for him i'm going to go in with the poison because we have an elite barbarian and they're also going to walk into the poison and we're going to take care of the left side as well tell you the firecracker i'm going to go in with the tricky barrel right now we're going to go ahead and get the dark prince down here hopefully he misses the barrel he does miss it and it was like late I'm going to take that. That's awesome. Now we go in with the Valkyrie right here and just keep protecting. All right. Keep protecting. Keep chipping. Let's go ahead and get heavy side guards this way because his elite barbarians are coming that way. Then we're going to go ahead and get a firecracker down. He goes expo once again. Let's go ahead and just get this down. Then we poison and he's probably going to log. That's what I thought, right? We get a Valkyrie down and then we have to make sure we're able to take care of these elite barbarians. Actually, we don't have to. Never mind. Now I go in with this. Play patient. We have a healthy Valkyrie. We have a firecracker that's going to help take things out. He misses the skeletons. We're going to go in with another firecracker. Let's go in with a dark prince this side to go ahead and take care of. And then we're going to go here. Just huge poison value. Take care of the elite barbarians over on that side. We're just going to have to probably spell cycle. I think that's it. All you have to do is really just stay conscious of which side the elite barbarians are going to be spawning. That's it. Let's go here. We're going to go in the front with the barrel. We're going to get another firecracker down. He's going to be late with the barrel probably, or even that. It doesn't even matter. I'm telling you, it's already in poison range. Let's go here. All you have to do is just defend against the elite barbarians. Remember, they're basically the win condition. He goes fire. Oh, see, now I feel bad. I feel bad now. All right. But Expo? I mean, I don't know about that. Don't play Expo, guys. Do not do it. Let's go in here with this. He goes Expo back there. Let's go here. And then we're going to do really nothing, honestly, except defend. Because this is going to be... The first dub for the video. Again, just play each side where the barbarians are going to be spawning and defend and wait for the opportunities. Have a nice day. GG's. Good luck and peace out. Not a bad first dub. Let's go ahead and make it two. Okay, so once again, we're going to go in with the same exact thing. I'm going to push heavy opposite side and then we're going to get a firecracker down as well. Again, because the guard holds down the elite barbarian, right? And we'll be good. And we're going to push opposite side there. So that's what, exactly what we want to do. Let's go ahead and go in with the barrel. And then what we're going to do is let's get a skeleton. Actually, we got to go nothing. Nope, we're going to have to do anything right now. We're going to save the Valkyrie for the wizard. Let's go ahead and do that. He has himself a musketeer. Now, I like this, okay? I like this a whole lot because unless he's able to zap, I got to get ready for the guards. 100%. Let's see what he does. It doesn't look like my opponent is doing anything there. So that's perfect. Let's go ahead and go Dark Prince. And then I might go in with the fire. Actually, no, I'm not. What am I going to do? I'm not going to go firecracker yet. I will go opposite lane. He does have a bandit, but we have guards. And he goes in with that there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and drop this on the elite barbarian. And we're going to get a dark prince to the top. Let's go. That's awesome. All right. Now we got to prepare for this little push. He has to answer this side. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with the skeleton army because he uses Valkyrie. And then we have a dark prince. Actually, the Valkyrie got somehow demolished. That was perfect. Let's go in with this right here. And then I'm going to get some damage there. The Elite Barbarians are not going to make it to the tower, which does kind of stink a little bit. He's going to have a teeny tiny counter push. He goes Valkyrie. Let's go a little bit high with this. And then we're going to go here with this because I want the Valkyrie to get pulled. And as you can see, we are taking care of that side. He goes in with all that spam. Now, I'll tell you this right now. The hardest thing right now, honestly, is that wizard. 
All right, so I have to go in with this right here. He's going to get some really good work. The wizard is not a bad play. All right, so he definitely started to come back a little bit. Let's go ahead and go here with this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just got to watch out for the wizard. I'm thinking what I want to do is save my Valkyrie for the wizard. I think that's probably one of the better plays. Now I'm going to go ahead and poison this. And we poison all... Oh, that's so much value. So much value. All right, let's go ahead and get this down here. He goes wizard that side. I'm going to try to take this tower. Then hopefully we can just defend... Okay, so he's, again, the wizard is a pain in the butt, but we have Dark Prince now. All right, we have Dark Prince. Let's take care of the wizard. All right, we're going to bring it all back. All right, we take care of the wizard. Seriously? All right, we're good, though. We're good to go. Valkyrie's still doing some work. The Elite Barbarian's on the right side. is going to help hold it down. What? Pekka? Okay, so let's go here, and then... <laughs> okay, he goes in with his zap, but he misses it. We got the Elite Barbarian. Pekka? What? I don't even understand that play. Okay, though. Let's go here. And then, what do we need to do? Defend this side, I guess? I'm telling you. Play nice and calm and patient. Let's drop that poison. Wizard was a little bit tricky. Good luck. Have a nice day. GG's. And peace out. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get number three. I'm telling you, it's a perfect starting play. All right. We've done it now three times in a row. We push heavy opposite the Elite Barbarian. And we'll be able to hold it down because another Elite Barbarian will obviously be able to help take his out. So now we go Firecracker. And then I do have the Valkyrie. Now, the Witch will be interesting. Okay, another Splash unit. But I think we're going to be okay. Again, the Firecracker is going to do a lot of work. We're going to go... Oh, my goodness. He goes in with the Hog Rider. We're going to have a nasty counter push. Absolutely nasty. I'm going in with this here. Now, that Tesla does stink a little bit. But hopefully, we'll be able to take it out. I'm telling you, the Firecracker, guys. Look. And look at the Skeleton Army. Probably going to take that tower. Guys, come on, man. I'm telling you. Look. You see? This is the deck. Simple. Now I just got to defend. He's running Firecracker too, so it's going to be a little bit annoying. All right, so let's go in with, let's see, let's see. Let's go Dark Prince. I'm going to go Dark Prince opposite lane because that Elite Barbarian's going to be taken care of. Firecracker again is going to be a bit annoying. So we go in with the Firecracker this side. I poison this, and then we're going to have enough to defend his Elite Barbarians. And look at the counter push we have. All right, he has to drop the Tesla, which means it's less Elixir he can use on his push. Do you guys see what I'm doing here, huh? I'm going to zap this right here, though. Boom. We'll see if we can help take out... Oh, Mini Pekka. Okay. All right, sure. Let's go here, and then we're going to go Dark Prince back here. Guards will hold it down, and then I just got to protect the right side. It's very simple. This is actually one of the easier challenges, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and just poison all this stuff. That Witch is going to walk out of the poison, which does kind of stink. But I'm not... actually, I'm going to go Valkyrie here to take care of the Witch. And again, we have enough to take care of... Oh, he goes Hog Rider. That's fine. He's going to zap, right? So what we do is not use our Skeleton Army. We don't use Skeleton Army. And we're going to get another Firecracker down. We have one... I didn't even realize the one I'm pointing at the screen here. Right there by the Tesla. It's just doing all kinds of work. Let's just go ahead and poison this once again. Take care of that Witch. And I'm telling you guys, Firecracker is one of the smartest troops to use. Let's go ahead and go in with this here. The Elite Barbarians are going to help hold it down. The Valkyrie is going to help hold it down. We're going to go in with this right here. I again will go in with this. Then I go back here with this. I guess he had Snowball, not Zap. Take care of the Firecrackers. That's all we have to do. We're defending. All right, just about 30 seconds left. Let's go here. Same thing. Take a tower. Defend. Rinse, repeat. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and get a Valkyrie down right here, I guess. We'll go guards over here. We're just going to poison this witch because of the skeletons. All right, the Firecrackers. Okay, finally, you turned back on what I wanted you to. Okay, so we let this all happen again. The Valkyrie's still doing work. We go here with the Dark Prince. Probably didn't even need it. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. He goes Hog Rider. Not going to be enough time. Let's just zap it. Have a nice day. Another dub in the books. Take care. GG's. And peace out. Three easy dubs in the books. Going to go ahead and wrap up this challenge off camera so I can edit and upload as quickly as possible to help you guys dominate. I do wish you all the success inside of the challenge. Thank you again for all of the continued support. Until the next video, take care and peace out.